One of the questions I get asked the most by people who reach out to me by email or by my social media account is, Runke, how can I save and invest for my children? And today I'm going to be answering this question. So if you have children and you have been thinking about how to save and invest for them, this video is for you. So stay with me. Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel, The Bulletproof Life. My name is Runke Odeumi, and as usual, I'm delighted to have you here. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and you are ready to take on this week in a fruitful way. As I mentioned in my introduction, if you have children, this video is for you because today I'm going to be talking about how to save and invest for your children. Saving and investing for your children is something that a lot of parents want to do. It's something that we all want to do for our children because we want to secure their future. We are already thinking about their university days, how their life will be, you know, when they start working. We're thinking about how we are right now, working, hustling, trying to make ends meet, trying to save and invest. And we wish we had, you know, some sort of kickoff for those of us that did not. And so you are thinking ahead, how can I save and invest for my children? Well, stay with me because that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. In fact, let's get right into it now. How can you save and invest for your children? There are five different ways you can save and invest for your children, which I'm going to talk you through. And the first one is simply opening a high interest savings account for your child. You can open a high interest savings account for your child from the day they are born. And I did this for my children. I know other people that did it. But if you didn't do it, it's not too late. You can still open a high interest savings account for your children and put in money that people gift them. You need to pack that idea of when they give your children money, you collect it and then you go and cook chicken with it that's what our, a lot of our parents did but you don't have to do that so when your children get monetary gifts from uncles and aunties grandpas and grandmas put it into their high interest savings account let it grow save it for them you know a little bit here a little bit there it can grow and you know drop by drop makes an ocean is what they say so just put away that money right from the beginning and watch that money grow until they get to the age of 18 or 21 and then you can hand it over to them and say you know, this is this is the money that i've saved away for you i mean you can even hand it over to them much earlier so that they can start learning how to manage that money and deal with it and do things with it so the first thing you can do for your child is to open a high interest savings account. You can open a high interest savings account in most banks and a lot of banks also offer child specific accounts and these savings accounts have very high interest rate because they know that you're planning to put money into it for a long time. So to encourage you, they sort of give it a higher interest rate that they will give an adult savings account. So you have no excuse. Look into opening a high interest savings account for your child. The second way you can save for your child is something called premium bonds. I've done a whole video about premium bonds. What are they? How do you um, access them? You know, what are the benefits? What are the disbenefits and all of that? It's also on my channel. So if you search my channel for premium bonds, you will find that video where I talked about premium bonds. So premium bonds are the second way you can save for your child if you are in the UK and it's a very popular one with British people it's been around since the first world war before the first world war so the premium bonds have survived two world wars so honestly they are quite safe and they are regulated by the UK government as well so it's not something that you can put your money in and some company or somebody is going to run away with it at all premium bonds are very safe now the downside of premium bonds is that they don't pay interest however they enter you into a lottery every single month you know for free the depending on how much you have in your premium bonds account and you're able to win up to a million pounds and that is a rosy deal because it can happen it can happen so you can put money into premium bonds for your children you know go watch that video where i talked about premium bonds in detail i'm not going to talk about it in more detail here so you can watch that video and learn more about premium bonds but that is the second way you can save for your children you know you can open a premium bond account per child and put money into it. It also means that uncles, aunties, grandpas and grandmas can put money into premium bonds for your children. Now, the third way you can save for your child or your children is something called junior ISOs. That's a junior 
investment and savings account. A junior ISA is an account where you can save for your children and as well, and you can open this in a lot of banks that offer junior ISA opportunities. They are called junior cash ISAs and you can put money into it. There's a limit to how much you can put into a junior um, cash ISA. It's, I think it's 9,000 for this year. 2021 to 2022 has an allowance of 9,000 pounds. Yes, it's £9,000 for this year per child. So you can put in £9,000 into a junior ISA for your child. And the beauty of a junior ISA is that it's completely tax-free. There's no tax on the dividends. There's no tax on any interest that that cash earns in the account. So every year you have an allowance of £9,000 per child to put away in a junior ISA. Now, the thing with junior ISAs is that you cannot take out the money. So this one is not money that you save for your child and then when you want to cook chicken or when it's Christmas and you want to buy them Christmas presents, you're going to use their own money to buy them Christmas presents. No, you can't do that with a junior ISA. Once your money goes in, it can't come out. The only person that can take out that money is your child when that child turns 18. You know, the child will become the owner of the account from the age of 16 and they'll be able to take out money from the age of 18. So you need to think about it well before you put money into it in bulk. And that's because some people will think, oh, that's a way for me as well to reduce my tax bill by putting all of my savings into a junior ISA. No, you won't be able to get it out. So it's very important that you don't put your own personal savings into your child's junior ISAs. You need to put money that you want to belong to your child into the junior ISA. There are other accounts that you as an adult can use to save tax, which you can invest or save in, you know, ISAs for adults. But we're talking about children now. So the junior ISA is for your child and for you to put money into for your child. Now, you cannot have more than one junior ISA per child. So you can open a junior ISA for your son David at HSBC and then go to Lloyds Bank to open another junior ISA for David again at Lloyd's Bank and then David has two junior ISAs because you are trying to get £9,000 in twice. You can't do that. You can only have one junior cash ISA per child. So now I've shared with you three ways you can save for your child. Now I want to move over to the two ways you can invest for your child that will save you, you know, tax and allow you to contribute or secure your child's future. And the first way you can invest for your child, which is the, which is the fourth point I'm making today, is the Junior Stocks and Shares ISA. Now, the Junior Stocks and Shares ISA is an investment account. It's an account that allows you to invest for your child. It's quite similar to the Junior Cash ISA in that whatever goes in cannot come out. It's tax-free. Whatever you put in, you know, it grows, it gets dividends, the money increases, it's completely tax-free. Now, the reason why I particularly like the Junior Stocks and Shares ISA is because your child's money is working. Is working. It's not just sitting in a savings account, you know, yielding a little bit of interest here and there. And right now, interest rates are quite low in the UK. So you're not going to get a lot on your junior cash ISA and your high interest savings account. But with the junior stocks and shares ISA, you're going to get a lot more because your money is working hard for you. Now, the other thing I need to say is that because it's an investment account, it means that there are risk. It means that you can get less than you put in. It means that you can put in 5000 and get 3000 because the stock market isn't doing well. So you need to bear that in mind as you invest on behalf of your children. But you can open this junior stocks and shares ISA with investment platforms. Now, there are investment platforms where you have to pick the stocks and shares yourself. You know, the likes of Agri's Lansdowne, AJ Bell, you invest, Vanguard platform and so on. You have to pick your own you know, investments, your own funds, your own stocks, your own shares that you're investing in on behalf of your child. And that can be a bit daunting for a lot of parents, you know, especially if you're a busy parent, you don't want to do the research. That is why something called robo advisors exist. And robo advisors are a different kind of investment platform where you don't have to pick the funds yourself. They just ask you a series of questions and based on those questions, you know, they, they determine your risk appetite and then they pick stocks for you. And Robo Advisors offer junior stocks and shares in ISAs, which you can then register for your children. So an example of a Robo Advisor where you can open a junior stocks and shares ISA is Nutmeg. Nutmeg is a good one. There are quite a few of them that you can open, you know, Nutmeg, Money Farm and so on. You can open junior stocks and shares ISA in these places and they would invest for your children. You don't have to think about what stocks and shares to pick. And the beauty of these robo-advisors is that they are regulated by the FCSA, so your money is safe up to £85,000. So always check 
that any robot advisor you are using or any investment platform that you are using is regulated and that your money is protected by the FCSA if you are in the UK. If you are in any other country, go ahead and still check that they are regulated by some government body that protects your money. It's very important because you don't want to wake up one day and find out that somebody has done a pony and client on your money. You really want to make sure that your money is being invested by a regulated body. The last way you can invest for your child in the UK is for you to open a junior SIP. A SIP is a self-invested personal pension account, which means that whatever money you are putting in is going into a pension for your child. You know, that also has a limit on how much you can put in. You know, I think it's three or four thousand pounds per year. But what you need to also bear in mind is that with a junior SIP again, you cannot access the money. Your child can also not access that money when they're 18 or 21. Your child can only access that money when they're 55 or 57 now um, because it's a pension account. It's pension. What you're doing is paying towards your child's pension. You're securing your child's future. You're making sure that whatever your child does with their lives, when they get to the age of 57, they will have a pension because daddy and mommy made sure. And this is how you build generational wealth. This is how you make sure that your children can chase their dreams because your child knows that I can chase my dreams because I already have a pension. So I don't want to have to worry about my old age, which is the reason why a lot of us are working hard now so that we can secure our old age. You know, your child has the pension sorted. You know, if you do a junior stock and shares ISA for your child or a junior cash ISA and your child turns 18 and they have enough money to get on the property ladder, you have given them a leg up. Even if they can't get on the property ladder, if your child already has money, you know, save the way, money that they can fall back on. It means that they can choose and pick jobs. They can focus on chasing their dreams and not be afraid of what they will eat tomorrow because uh, there's no money to pay bills. And bills need to be paid. These bills won't pay themselves. You know, they won't pay themselves. So when you secure your child's future, when you save and invest for your child, you are giving them the opportunity to live a stress-free life, to live an anxiety-free life. You are giving them an opportunity to chase their dreams. Most importantly, to chase their dreams so that you won't be that parent that says you have to be a doctor you have to be a nurse you have to go and study engineering if you don't study engineering i mean this is a nigerian parent thing this is an african parent thing i think asian parents are like this as well you have to study a course that they think is going to secure your future but not anymore you can allow your child to go and study history to go and study art to go and study the things that are of dreams, the, the things that they just, you know, they love, that they enjoy, they can become whatever they want to become. And it doesn't have to be something that's yielding them millions simply because it's something they love, you know. But because you've saved and invested for them, these children can live a life that chases a dream and is happy. And I'm not saying your children can't be happy if you're not chasing their dreams. I mean, some of us are having to balance our dreams with our realities. So we are living our dreams and we're also, you know, doing other things to bring in money. So... I'm not saying your child can't be happy. I'm just saying when you save and invest for your children, you're giving them opportunity, you're giving them a leg up and, you know, pushing them a little bit further in life, which is something a lot of parents want to do. So if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe by pressing the red button on your right if you haven't subscribed. You know, a lot of you are watching these videos, but you're not commenting, you're not pressing the like button. And I really love interacting with you in this community. So please drop me a comment. You know, I always respond to my comments. You know, give me a like, smash the like button, smash, 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 so that YouTube can show this video to other people like you. Until my next video, you take care of yourself and keep living that bulletproof life. Bye-bye.